King David tomb in Hebrew, Arabic and English. I will talk about the three languages and the three meanings of it. And you can see Mizuza. Then you know that it's a Jewish place. Now they are the children are shouting and I pray that they will go and I think they went. They went down, please say yes. They just cleaned it. Yes, they, they did, but more children just enter. And um, that structure holds two important things. The first one in front of you is the tomb of King David. The upper one is the, the upper room, the room of the Last Supper. Let's talk about King David. King David is very holy for the Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Christians, let's start with the Jews. King David was a one, uh, one, uh, the second king of Israel, but the most important one because he is the one who got the mission to turn those 12 tribes into one state of Israel. And he turned Jerusalem into the capital of Israel. Now, when you're asking me where, for how long Israel, or Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, now you know, 10th century BC until today. Um, we know that the Messiah will come from this dynasty. Then, this is the story of Jesus. Jesus came from the dynasty of King David, and he, he is the Messiah, according to the Christians. And in that case, he is uh, what promised us for the Jews to accept. And that's why uh, he's very important for the Christians. For the Muslims, King David was a prophet, not a king. And uh, not the last prophet, because one, uh, the last prophet is Muhammad, and always will be Muhammad. Now the two groups of children enter to the tomb of King David. Let's wait until we will go out. Is it okay? Mainly because it's going to be so noisy there. I don't want to bless everything. See the scarf and uh, Talit, the big Talit, and uh, Mezuzah. We might see there in the synagogue the Jews wearing the big Talit. Although they're not, they're, it's not a mask, they usually they're doing it only on uh, special holidays or at um, the first pray of the day, you know, the Jews are praying three times a day. Until they will go out, the children, let me talk about another theory that I love. First of all, do you know, are we sure that this is the tomb of King David? The answer is no, we don't know. Um, we know that King David was buried in the city of David. That's the Bible told us, but the Bible um, wants us to worship God, not holy tombs. Then uh, I'm sure that people knew where he was buried, but certain time it disappeared. Um, the last one that we know that been in the tomb of King David was King Herod that tried to rob it without a success. Um, City of David is outside the wall. City of David can be Hebron. He was a king of Hebron for seven years. Uh, City of David is Jerusalem. That it can be everywhere. Then uh, we don't know for sure. That um, tradition here started from the 10th century, which is 2,000 years after he died. Then, if it's true or not, I don't know. But why not to believe that this is the place? Um, but look at the stones. They are very big. Some believe that the first Jews who believe in, in, uh, in Jesus, first Christians, build here the, uh, or try to keep the room of the Last Supper as a memorial place. Now the room of the Last Supper is such an important place because so many things happened there and I will talk about it later on. But everything here been destroyed at 70 AD by the Romans. And some of the Jews who believed in Jesus, and that is the rumor, uh, some scholars believe in it, I must say, took stones from the temple, look at the big stones, and started to build here the upper room. 
sure or not, I don't know, but uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, idea, and beautiful theory. I mean, you can actually see the difference between those stones to regular stones. All of them are limestones. I mean, just to carry that one is not easy. Totally not easy. Then, I hope that the children already left the place. It looks like it's 12 o'clock because I heard the bell of the Dormition Church ring. And let's go into... To there, we will wear the mask. And remember, every mask must have a keeper on his head. Then hit this, put the keeper on the head. And we will enter to the tomb. It's divided into two. We are entering to the main department. If you notice, the man to the left wore uh, the talit to cover himself from from us, and, uh, and and we bought it. You see the little talit trousers there. Mm. David Melech Israel Chai Chai Vekayam David Melech Israel Chai David Melech David King of Israel Alive, alive and exist David Melech Israel Chai Chai Vekayam David Melech Israel Chai Chai Vekayam Beautiful, isn't it? The better did he ask He asked me if I can bless it I did it the menorah symbol of the temple and that's the entrance to the women department I will bring back the yamuka the keeper the keeper will divide us from him just like uh, the talit will cover us and uh, we will be concentrated only with him the keeper will tell us that is above us and we want to be as close as we can to him but we, but we are not there yet <laughs> 